Today we're working on a 2004 Honda Accord. We're going to be installing Kurt Hitch part number 11327. Here are a couple measurements that will assist you in selecting accessories for your new hitch. From the center of hitch pin hole to the outermost point of the bumper is 3.5 inches. And from the top of the receiver tube to the ground is 11.5 inches. This will assist you with selecting accessories such as a draw bar, a bike rack, or a cargo carrier. Now let's go ahead with our installation. We need to lower the exhaust to install the new hitch, but before we take our exhaust hangers off, what we want to do is take a strap to support the exhaust. Now that we got our safety strap on, we can go ahead and remove our exhaust hangers. I like to use a little lubricant or penetrant on the hanger before I remove it. This will just make it easier for removal and reinstallation later. You'll see that we've got one hanger in the front of the muffler and one hanger in the rear of the muffler. Okay, there's our rearmost hanger on the driver's side. Now let's do the front hanger on the driver's side. Now I'm going to go over and repeat the same process on the passenger side. Now we've got our exhaust lowered. What we're going to do is measure back from our forwardmost heat shield fastener. Now we've got our mark made. What we're going to go ahead and do is remove our heat shield and drill our 5 8 hole. Then I'll repeat the same process on the passenger side. Now we've got our hole drilled out. We're gonna go ahead and put it back up into place just to make sure it lines up with our, the hole in our frame. Okay, lines up with the hole in our frame. Now that we have our hole drilled in our heat shield, what we need to do is fish our bolt and block up into the frame so that we have a fastener. You'll see here that our block is slightly larger than the hole, so what we're gonna do is take a hammer and chisel and just open the hole up enough that we can get our block washer into the subframe. You'll see now that our block will fit up into our subframe, so we can go ahead and get our fish wire set up. We're gonna go through the rear hole in the subframe and come back out the front. Now we have our wire threaded. We're gonna take our block, put it on. We're gonna thread on our bolt. And we're gonna feed them up into the subframe. Pull them back through. That sets up our fastener for our new hitch. And go ahead and remove my fish wire. All right, now we've got our bolt and block in place. We can do is reinstall our heat shield. We just want to be careful not to push our bolt back up into the subframe. Now that we have all four heat shield fasteners back in place, we're going to go ahead and tighten them back down. And then I'll repeat the same process on the passenger side. Now that we've got our hardware installed, we can go ahead and put our new hitch in place. We're going to line it up with our bolts that we just installed. Raise our hitch into position around our tow hook. Install our carriage bolt, our half inch nut. We're just going to put these finger tight at this time. Raise our hitch into position, careful not to push our bolt back up into the subframe. Once we get it in position, we can take our nut and thread it on. Again, I'm just going finger tight. Now I've completed that on the driver's side, I'm going to repeat the same process on the passenger side. Alright, now we've got all of our hitch fasteners installed, we're going to go ahead and tighten them down. That completes the driver's side, and I'm going to go ahead and tighten up the passenger side. Okay, now that we've got everything tightened down, we can go ahead and torque the specification. That completes torquing on the driver's side, I'm going to go repeat the same process on the passenger side. And that completes the installation of Kurt Hitch, part number 11327.